by my head. Here comes the Capulet. By my heel? I cannot. Follow me close. And I will speak to them. Gentlemen, good day. A word with one of you? And but one word? With one of us? Couple it with something. Make it a word and a blow. You shall find me apt enough to that, sir, and you will give me occasion. Will you not take some occasion without the giving? Mercutio, our consortist with Romeo. Consort? What? <laughs> and now make us minstrels? <laughs> Thou makes minstrels of us. Look to hear nothing but discords. Here's my fiddlestick. Here's that shall make you dance. Zooms, consort. We talk here in the public haunt of men. Either withdraw unto some private place or reason coldly of your grievances or else depart. Here all eyes gaze on us. Men's eyes were made to look. And well, let them gaze. And will not budge for no man's pleasure I. Well, peace be with you, sir. Here comes my man. Well, I'll be hanged, sir, if you wear your livery. Marry, go before to the field. He'll be your follower. Your worship, in that sense, may call him man. <laughs> Romeo. The love I bear thee can afford no better term than this. Thou art a villain. Tybalt. The reason that I have to love thee doth much excuse the appertaining rage to such a greeting. Villain am I none. Therefore farewell, I see thou knowest me not. Boy! We shall not excuse the injuries that thou hast done me, therefore turn and draw. I do protest I never injured thee. But love thee better than thou canst devise till thou shalt know the reason of my love. And so good Capulet, which name I tender as dearly as mine own, be satisfied. 